And just to give you an idea a little bit of, of the workout, um, <clears throat> like I said, you know, you said it really well. I mean, people go to gyms and they, you know, they all go for different reasons, but then they all end up doing the same thing because that's the way the gym is, and that's really not the way it should be, you know. There, when we work out with resistance, you know, there's strength, there's hypertrophy, which is size, there's muscular endurance, and there's power. You know, most people really need the strength, endurance, and hypertrophy side of things. Rarely do they need power unless they're, we train some athletes. And then, yes, they need power. So pushing the sled, doing ball slams, all that's great for them. But I like to go back to sort of old school, you know, most of my training modalities and teach people that pure strength is really on the negative. I mean, they know that, physiologically speaking, that the negative is 50% stronger than the positive, you know? So these people that are doing squats and they're just banging them out, it's almost pointless, you know. It's a heart rate raising cardio style workout. But if they really want to gain strength and size, you know, they gotta fight the negative, keep the motion slow, keep tension on the muscles. So essentially that, that's what I'll do with you today. I'll just we'll go through all the major muscle groups and uh, you know, high intensity style routine. So so much of the time people talk about, you know, reps and weight and we try to educate them all the time. It's like, it doesn't matter. I mean, your muscles know failure. They can't really count. You just gotta get it to the point where it burns, can't do any more. We count just for simplicity reasons and we keep sure. a chart on people, but at the same time, we try to educate them that it, it doesn't matter so much. You sure, know? your failure could be different from day to day, maybe. Yeah, actually, I mean, yeah, it could be, it could be um, you're just not into it. Uh, it could be caffeine related. It could be um, your fatigue from, you know, like, you know, you did a different style of workout last night, you might be tired, there's more lactate built up in your quads, whatever, um, but absolutely, you know, and you just gotta understand that if you get to that point, though, the workout's intense enough, and that's really what you're shooting for, you know. And we're always, always a warm-up, like what we're doing now. Yeah, um, always raise the internal temperature, correct, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, all the studies show that if you break a sweat, you know, if you're warmed up, your muscles are more elastic, you're, ready to do a workout without, you know, getting hurt. Um, but outside of that, if you train properly, specific warm-ups become a little bit of a waste of time. Meaning like once your body's warmed up and you know, so many guys go to the gym and then they'll do, oh, warm-up set of squats, another warm-up set. It's like, no, no, I mean, your body is technically warmed up. Now, if they're doing like one RM or three reps, I mean, yes, of course, but if they're doing a good, you know, a normal, eight to 12, whatever rep range, you know, they waste their times doing a ton of specific warmups. Yeah. Know? So we, we really push the, you know, the high intensity regime of um, go to failure, move on next exercise, go to failure, move on. That's kind of the style of the workout. And then if we work with people that have other issues, then we do more stuff with them. For example, we got, we have a lot of athletes, we have a lot of seniors, um, that's probably our two biggest populations, athletic kids mm -hmm. and then seniors. So the athletes are gonna need some power and agility. So mm -hmm. after they do their strength, then we're doing the ladder outside, then we're doing you know, plyo jumps or broad jumps or whatever. Seniors are gonna need more balance. So after they're doing their strength training stuff, then we'll you know, get out the balls, BOSU balls, or you know, she, she does a good job with a lot of the seniors doing um, just simply treadmill walking. Mm -hmm. and, you know, just take your hands off and walk you know for them that's enough balance challenges Absolutely. you know one of my mottos is is we're here to build strength not demonstrate strength you know <laughs> it's a good one. I like that. guys always you know not always but 90 percent of the time it's all ego and it's like you hand them lighter weights oh i can do it's like okay great you can do that but <laughs> the yeah. idea is you know we're just trying to do it right we want to build strength and then on the day to compete let's go for it grab heavier weights and, and whatever so you know what we focus on. That's about five minutes. You ready to roll? Cool. Absolutely. Feel pretty warmed up.